In this video, we are going to see a couple of ways on how to dump credentials from a Windows machine using Posh C2 framework. We are going to assume that we already have compromised a machine in our target network and have escalated our privileges on that machine. So we have the administrator access for this particular machine. So let's interact with this agent. And one of the first ways that you can dump credentials using Posh C2 is by using the Mimikatz module inbuilt in Posh C2. And this is a standard Mimikatz module that is loaded by Posh C2 on the target machine. And then it executes Mimikatz command to dump the passwords. To dump logon passwords, we can simply use the command Mimikatz command and then the Mimikatz command that we want to run. So this is the Mimikatz module inbuilt into Posh C2. And here, using the command parameter, we are specifying the commands within Mimikatz that we want to run. And here on the screen, you can see that Mimikatz was loaded and it has successfully dumped the NTLM hashes for administrator user and any other users that were logged in onto this machine such as user.ind02 as well. Now in order to dump the SAM or local password you can simply use the command mimikatz and SAM dump parameter. So it will go ahead and load mimikatz on the target machine and dump the local user account passwords. And as you can see here that it has dumped the NTLM hash for local administrator account. Great. Now another way to do this is to first dump the LSAS process and then analyze the memory contents of that dump using Mimikatz. Now Posh C2 provides a way to automate all this using a module called safety cats. And the command that you need to specify is safety cats full. What it will do is it will dump the contents of LSAS process and then use Mimikatz to analyze that dump and display all logon credentials here, as you can see. So we have NTLM hash for user.ind02. And we have NTLM hash for administrator account. The third way you can dump password using Posh C2 is by loading the PowerShell module or the PowerShell adaptation of Mimikatz that is invoke Mimikatz. And because we are using a C sharp implant of Posh C2, we cannot directly interact with PowerShell. So we will use the sharp PS module of Posh C2 to load invoke Mimikatz into the memory and then use invoke Mimikatz again via sharp PS to dump the credentials. So using sharp PS and a simple PowerShell download cradle, we are downloading invoke Mimikatz.ps1 from our hacker domain and loading it into the memory of the target machine. So it says that module was loaded successfully. Great. And now to run invoke mimikatz command, we will again use sharp ps. And the first command that we're going to run is invoke mimikatz hyphen dump creds. And Mimikatz has done its magic and dumped the credentials here. Now using this method, if you want to dump all the logon passwords, you can use this command, which is again using sharp ps module and invoke Mimikatz that is loaded into the memory of target machine. And then using the hyphen command flag, we are specifying the internal Mimikatz command. So let's run this.
and again Mimikatz has done its magic and dumped the credentials for us here. Now we can automate this a bit because Posh C2 provides invoke Mimikatz out of the box. So let's try to load the PowerShell module invoke Mimikatz.ps1 directly. So now that it has loaded, we can again try to use sharp ps and give it invoke mimikatz and the associated flag or command. So seems like the command was run. However, at the moment we don't know that whether it was run because we loaded it this way or because the module was already loaded into the memory. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new session wherein we haven't loaded uh, Mimikatz either way and then we'll try this PSLow method. So here I have created a fresh session from the target machine and now let's try to load Mimikatz via PSLow command. The module has loaded successfully as you can see here and let's try to run this using sharp ps so this command has worked and here you can see the Mimikatz output. So this is another way that you can use the inbuilt Invoke Mimikatz module of Posh C2. And if you want to use a custom version of Invoke Mimikatz, you can do that the download PowerShell Cradle way that we saw before this. So these were some quick techniques on how to use Posh C2 to dump credentials from your target network or a target machine. If you like the content that I produce here, please do subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Thank you and I'll see you soon in the next video.